Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Before starting this video, I would like to thank Jaja Hair Company for sponsoring today's video. And the box that they sent me, it came with a wig cap. It came with their um, a little information slip. And of course, also the wig. Now, I think this was a 130% density, either a 10 or a 12 inch bob lace frontal. Now this was a 13 by four wig unit. I love the fact that it was a 13 by four, but that the sides kind of match. So if you wanted to do a side part, you can because it had a good amount of parting because sometimes some of the wigs do come with a like two inch on each side, which makes it a little bit harder if you wanted to do, you know, like side parts and stuff like that. But for this wig, that wasn't the case, which I really love. Now the wig did come pre-plugged and also with a little bit of baby hair, but I kind of like the over, over pluck look. And for the style that I was going for today, I kind of wanted it to look more so on the more natural side. So I did go in and pluck it some more. One thing I do want to point out was that the knot was a little bit on the bigger side, but that's to be expected because we are going through this whole crazy stuff with, you know, the wigs and stuff like that and the borders being closed. So, um, but after I bleached it, I just left the bleach on just a tad bit longer just to make sure that all the knots were like properly bleached. As you guys can see by the thumbnail, um, the look that I'm going for. So I am going to go ahead with my, um, I don't, what are these, what are these called again? Um, shavers, men shavers. Um, I'm going to go ahead and link that down below if you guys are interested in purchasing one, cause I did get this on Amazon, but I would highly suggest you get one of these if you are planning on doing like a bob, because it makes it a hundred times easier when you are making the bob and it just gives it a more crispy, crispier bob look as you guys can see how easy I did it. Now, one thing I would say, which I struggled with off camera was, um, it's good to cut it on the mannequin head but it's not going to look the same when you actually put it on your head so i did have to go ahead and you know do a lot of other crazy stuff when i did um actually put it on my head so you keep that in mind when cutting it on the mannequin head now i know you guys already seen me do this part which i've done it a few times on my channel already um this is going to be a glueless install. I'm not putting no glue except for um, some gots to be gel. So I want this to be completely glueless, which it was. And I love the fact that the band that they included in the wig, it was extremely, um, how can I put it? It was really secure and the wig was really snug, which I really like, which made it even more easier for me to actually, you know, make it a glueless wig. Now, what I am going to be doing right now is take off the little um, combs that they had around the perimeters. I think it was three of them. In total, there was four of them, but I took out the first three that was in the top because I wanted my wig to, you know, go on really smoothly and without any bumps. So I just, I tend to take those off. You could leave it on if you would like, but I personally take them off. Now, right now, all I'm doing is going going ahead and just cutting off the ear tab now this part is really important because if you don't cut off the ear tabs like properly it is going to bother you which it did um after a few a few days when i did have it on i had to go back in and actually cut a few more because if you do have any type of lace on top of your ear it will bother you it will make your ear hurt so this part is really important like i never really hear people like talk about the ear tab but I want you to pay a little more close attention if you are doing your own hair and you're cutting off the ear tab, make sure that there's no lace on top of your ear.
all right so um after i finish cutting off the ear tabs right now i'm just checking it to make sure that everything is where it needs to be and that it fits properly and everything and right now what i am going to be doing is actually installing the lace now like i said the the wig was really snug so literally every the wig was already like melted on without you know me even putting on the gel i only put one one um layer of the got to be gel on my head because i wasn't planning on leaving the the wig on for too too long but this method that i did use with the got to be gel and also the spray and everything um this wig did last a good amount of time it only started lifting um when i went to the gym because i was sweating a lot which obviously would make it lift now right now i'm just gonna go ahead and just place the wig on top of my head and go ahead and make sure like i measured it i kind of made sure that i put it just a tad bit in front of the in front of the wig just for when i am cutting it like it, there's not too much residue left over right now what i'm doing is just spraying some got to be glue on the on the hair and the lace just to melt it a little bit more because i wanted to the lace to be a little bit more melted you know since i am not gonna be you know um gluing it down Now, after I did, you know, go ahead and sprayed all the perimeters of my hair right now, I'm just going to go ahead and um, split the, the lace in half and just start, you know, jagging, trying to make jagged cuts on the lace just to make it um, not look just so straight. So I made sure I, you know, had the, the scissors in a jagged motion now um as you guys can see i think i deleted the part where i put the uh what is it called the lace tint on my head i guess i kind of deleted that part by accident but i used the tailored's crown um i think tint and the color caramel i'll probably put a picture maybe if i remember but that's the one that i use i just sprayed it on top of the lace and also the Tresemme hairspray just to seal everything in so the lace can be as melted as possible. And I put the elastic band on top there and I tried to leave it on for at least a good 10 minutes so it can, you know, be melted, be as melted as possible. And right here, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, reflat iron it and also pass the hot comb on it just to make sure my wig is, you know, laid. Now you are going to see a lot of white residue. It could either one be from the um, spray because I did use a lot of spray. And also the elastic band that I did use was kind of like already gunky itself. But that's easily um, fixable. All you need is some some alcohol and just go ahead and, um, you know, just clean up around the perimeters so it can look a little bit better, which is what I'm doing right now. And also I'm going to go ahead with that with that level 15 Ruby Kisses Um foundation and i'm gonna go ahead and just you know tap it on the lace just to i want it to look as you know as natural as possible after putting on that um that foundation it actually started to blend in perfectly with my skin tone and i could have easily done a no baby hair look but i kind of wanted to do the baby hairs All right, so I'm about to go ahead and, you know, just add some baby hairs on there. In total, there's going to be um, four baby hairs. Now, I wanted the baby hairs. Everybody, okay, so this is a Jada-inspired hair look, which is the bob that she recently did. And um, everyone knows that she loves her really dramatic. She's known for her baby hairs. So I kind of wanted to go for the big the big um two sides side baby hairs and then the really dramatic sideburns so that's exactly what i'm going to be doing right now normally if you want your baby hairs to look on the more natural side i would say go ahead and you know cut your baby hairs at least a good inch now these were probably like an inch and a half or two inches because like i said i want my baby hairs to be on the more dramatic side and also as you guys can see i'm i was using a mixture of 
the got to be gel and also the um foam because i didn't want the baby hairs to be too um crispy i kind of wanted them to be a little bit more furry and stuff like that so i didn't just use the glue um on its own but you guys i was struggling with these baby hairs but just go ahead and just watch me struggle a little bit After literally probably like 25, I think one side of my baby hairs took like 25 minutes, which I literally was struggling with it. But I kind of like to take my time with my baby hairs and and I kind of like the way that they turned out. And this is the final look, you guys. You guys, I'm literally in love. You guys see these baby hairs, though? They're not like my best but i really do love them like because they're so dramatic and they literally do remind me of a more jada because like i said she do love her dramatic baby hairs but i don't know like let me know in the comments down below did i nail it or fail it like i i think i'm a little bit like in between right now but um one thing i would like to say is uh her bob was a little bit on the thicker side and this one was a more natural look so if anything i would just would have added a few extra you know um tracks inside the hair just to add a little bit more fullness but overall i really love it and now if you're going for like a more natural bob this would be perfect for you and again this was a i think a 12 or 10 inch bob and i would highly suggest you get like either a 10 or a 12 inch even though you are going to cut it because like in this video i did go back and cut it a little bit shorter just to get this look but overall i really do love this wig and this style thank you jaja hair for sponsoring this video i hope you guys loved it and i'll see you guys in my next one bye loves